What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. This just happens to be the first video in our audio series here in 2021. So if you're wondering what we're going to be talking about, today we're going to be talking about Echo. And you might be thinking, if you saw the last video, oh and by the way, if you didn't, link above, go check that out. And actually, you know what, if you're new here and you just stumbled on this video, my name's Jay Yudlovsky and I make a lot of tutorials about DaVinci Resolve, a lot of audio tutorials, as well as a lot of beginner tutorials just to help you get going here in DaVinci Resolve. So if you haven't subscribed and you're into any of that or even interested in that, definitely subscribe, hit that bell button and uh, head on over to my channel, check out what I got. Maybe there's some stuff that'll help you out over there. So if you do remember in our last video, we talked about reverb. Now reverb sounds a little something like this. And what is reverb? Well, reverb is when that sound of your, my voice or whatever bounces off all the walls. You can think of it as being in like a small bathroom uh, that's all tile, or maybe you're in a, a big empty church building or something where you say something and it just bounces off the walls. That sound just goes all over the place, which is part of the reason I got some of these acoustic blankets in here. With the concrete walls, that sound when I'm talking goes all over the place and creates its own reverb by itself. But when it comes to echo, echo is a little bit different. You can think of echo as like repeating the same thing over and over. For example, echo sounds a little something like this. Hello, 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 hello. So that's echo and probably that's what you think of when you think of echo. And delay is very similar. We'll talk about that next week. But for now, it's just talking about echo. So echo takes whatever you say or the noise and kind of repeats that noise over and over and over again. Whereas the reverb, it's bouncing around. That sound is bouncing off itself and, and makes that reverberation sound. So that's where echo is a little bit different. And I'm going to go over the window here. I'm going to show you all the knobs, the dials, what they all do uh, to the best of my ability here. And, uh, you know, it's one of these things where you're just going to have to try it out in your clips and see how to get the effect that you, you're looking for, you know. But um, if you're looking for that sound where you're standing on the edge of a cliff and you're just like, hello. 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 Maybe you're in a train tunnel or something. I don't know. Where could you be where there's some echo, right? But it's that sound over and over again. So with all that said, let's jump on over into DaVinci Resolve Fairlight, check out the echo effect and uh, see how it works. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I have a clip in the timeline, which is one of the ones that you already saw of me saying hello. And we're going to take a look at the echo effect on this particular clip. Oh, and real quick, always helps to have some good headphones. Although with echo here, I mean, you're going to hear it clear as day on any speakers that you have. But I always like to use some good headphones. So if you got them, use them. If not, you'll be all right on this one. So let's check it out. So we are in the edit tab here. And as I mentioned, this is the clip we're going to be working with. Now, one of the things you can do with any one of these effects that we're talking about in this whole series is you can actually drop it on a single audio clip right here in the edit tab. And let me just show you that real quick. If I close my media pool by clicking this guy right here, we're going to open up my effects library and we have echo right here. This is what we're working with today. So I can just come and click on this guy, drag it down and drop it right onto that particular clip. However, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm actually going to apply it on the whole track, but you can apply it just on one specific clip if you want to. So keep that in mind. You can drop any effect directly on a clip and let's say you just wanted one clip, you can drop it right on there in the edit tab. You don't have to jump over to Fairlight, but we're going over to Fairlight because, well, oh, love me some good audio, love me some Fairlight, and uh, we're going to show you how to apply it on a track level as opposed to a clip level. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this and actually Command or Control Z to undo that. We're going to go ahead and jump right on over into Fairlight, which is the little musical notes here on the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and click that. That'll bring you over into Fairlight, and I'm actually going to close my effects library here. Let's make this a little bit bigger here so we can see what we're working with. Stretch this guy out a little by using these two guys right here. So we want to go ahead and apply the echo effect to this entire track. In order to do that, you want to come over to your mixer. And if you don't see your mixer, check on the top of your screen here. You got mixer. Go ahead and give that a little click. It should open up the mixer for you. If you still don't see the mixer, you can come on up over to workspace and come down to show panel in workspace and make sure you've got mixer checked on there. Now what we want to do is add in the echo effect. So we have effects right here. And if you don't see effects in your mixer here, go ahead and click on these three little dots. And it's going to give you a whole bunch of options here of different things that you can select. Make sure you got the effects on and you should be able to see it back in this area over here. You can use your mouse wheel to scroll up and down if uh, you, know, you don't see much there. Or you can turn off some of the other items so you can see the effects easier. So go ahead and click on the plus and we want to come on down to delay. Fairlight, and then you'll see Echo right here, and go ahead and click on that. 
So that's going to bring up our echo effect window here. And as we have with all of our other effects, let's run over this window just so you know what's going on and what each one of these things do. Again, starting at the top, we've got our add a preset button. You have your presets right here. And there are a few presets in here you can try out and see if it's what you're looking for. We also have the AB buttons here, which we have a quick tip Tuesday about if you don't know how those work. Check out that link above. All the way on the right, we've got the reset button. And on these three little dots, you've got your lock plugin window and preset manager. Down below that, we have our on off button that's going to enable or disable the effect. Over here, you have your input format. What kind of input are you working with here? And it is important to note that you can use this effect on a mono or a stereo track. So keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It can be mono, stereo, doesn't matter. Let's get back to it. So the next section here is a graph that basically shows you the intensity of the echoes that this plugin is creating. It tells you, you know, about how far apart they are. You can see it's got your seconds here. There's one second, there's two seconds. And it's got what the delay is for the left and the right channel. So it kind of gives you an idea graphically of what we're looking at here with the delay. And the output meter here is going to give you output levels for your clip as it comes out of the effect. So the next section that we have here is the filters. And the filters basically adjust the proportion of the different frequencies that are included in the echo effect. So for the low cut here, that's basically a high pass filter. So what do you want to cut out? Anything below, you know... If it's uh, vocals, you know, like talking here, all right, anything below 100 hertz, good, cut that out because it's just going to be boomy and I don't need that. And likewise, the high cut here is actually a low pass filter. So what do you want to cut out as far as the high frequencies are concerned? You want to go all the way up to 18K, 18,000? Uh, back it back a little bit. And then all these things you could play with, try and just see what works best for your clip. But that's going to be the limit and it's basically going to be a low pass filter. So anything above here is getting cut out and anything below here is getting cut out as well. The next little part down here we have is feedback and feedback adjusts the dampening filter for the feedback signal that's going through this clip. So you just have to play with that and see how it affects your particular clip. So the next two sections here are the left channel and the right channel and the delay or echo settings for those two channels. Now the reason I have two channels here is because I'm working with a stereo audio track. If we jump back to the window here and I make this a mono track by coming down to change track type to mono and I open my effect back up. Now you can see we have a little bit simplified version here uh, of the window we were just looking at. It just has delay time, the feedback, feedback delay, high ratio. So it looks a little bit different, um, but either way, you're still gonna get the echo effect. So I'm just gonna undo this and go back to what we were looking at before. Okay, so getting back to it here, we're gonna run through each one of these and they're essentially the same thing on both sides, just for the left channel and the right channel. So the first section here is delay time. This is the global delay time for the left channel. So what is that delay time? Here it's 500 milliseconds, so that's half a second. So the next section we have here is the feedback delay. So the feedback delay is when that left channel, it, it echoes, but it feeds back into itself. So how long do you want that delay to be? And in this case, it matches what the initial delay time is, but you can change that if you want to. Moving down, we have just the feedback. So this is a percentage from minus 100 to 100%. So this is the feedback percentage of that left channel that feeds back into itself. So this is the time, how long until it feeds back into itself. And the feedback here is how much on a percentage level do you want that echo to feed back into itself? Do you want it 100% full blast back in or do you want it a little subdued? Maybe you dial it back a little bit. And then the last item here is left to right feedback. And again, you have minus 100% all the way up to 100%. And this is basically the percentage of the left feedback signal, which feeds back into the right channel. So when you're thinking about echo, it's a lot of it's feeding back into itself. And that's what's generating the echo sound. And I mean, in the real world, all this just happens naturally. You know, you hear that echo going on and on. But when the computer's creating it, you've got the options of how you want to tweak all these things and exactly how you want it to sound. You can have it feedback onto each other uh, more or less. You can change the delay times, like if you're in a bigger space or a smaller space. Tons of options, which is why I said in the beginning, you need to try these things out and just play with it and see what's going to give you the effect that you're looking for on your particular clip. So the right channel is essentially the exact same thing. You've got your delay time, your de feedback delay, your feedback percentage, and then in this case, your right to left feedback. So 
in the default settings here, you can see it's feeding was a 75% from the right back into the left channel. So that's what's gonna help create the echo. And if you're confused by this stuff, don't worry about it, just start playing with it. And you're gonna see how these things kind of make little changes on that echo on the delay time, how long it is and how it sounds. You just gotta play with it and you're gonna see it's not that complicated to understand once you start to hear it a little bit more. And finally, we have our output section here and this controls the final output of the audio effect here. So like we've talked about before, the wet dry mix is how much of the effect do we want applied to my channel, my audio channel or your audio clip if it's just on one clip. And remember a dry signal. So if I drag this all the way down means no effect is being applied and you can even see it change up here on the graph. Whereas if I drag it all the way up to 100%, you see our echo delay goes all the way up. And even when we're looking at these, we can see between our left and our right channel, the left channel is going to echo first and then the right channel is going to, and you can see the left channel is a little less up there, right? So keep in mind, the output is the amount of effect being applied to your clip or your track. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click this guy to reset it. And again, remember, you can always double click any one of these wheels and it's going to reset it to its default settings. And the last item we have here is level and this adjusts the overall output for the sound that comes out of the effect. Keep in mind sometimes when you apply these effects, like we've talked about before, you're gonna lose a little bit of your signal. Maybe you'll be uh, originally, you know, your signal's coming in at minus 10 dB, but by the time you apply the effect, you're at, I don't know, extreme case, minus 20 dB. So you can use the level here to boost that signal back up. So you've got a good signal coming out of the effect and back into, you know, your main mix. So let's jump back in here. We're going to try it out and just see what we got here with the default settings. So I'm going to play through my clip and let's see, move my window out of the way here. We're going to do our old loop trick. So I'm going to click on this guy right here, come down here and we're going to select our range right there. And we're going to use uh, option or alt if you're on a PC and the forward slash so that we can loop this and just see how it sounds. Hello. 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 So we can hear it looping on itself. It's even still going there. And you've even got some presets here that you can try. We've got fast ping pong. See how that sounds there. Hello. 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 And you've got a few others. You got large hall, slow crossover, swirling clothes. Let's see what that sounds like. Hello. So you can hear those are a little bit closer together as far as the delays are. And you can select these couple different uh, presets here and just look at your settings and see what changes based on the original. Again, click on the reset all if you want to reset them all and get back to like a normal setting here. But, uh, you know, the, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of things you could do, a lot of cool uh, echo effects you can make, and it just depends on what you want and how you're going to make it. Lastly, let's just try the large hall here just for fun. Hello. So that large hall was almost like a reverb kind of sound, although you didn't hear everything feeding back into itself uh, all over on top of each other with the with the sound there. You could hear, you know, it just kind of extend and die out, but a faster echo there. So that was kind of interesting. So that about does it guys for Echo here in DaVinci Resolve. It's a cool effect and how much you're gonna use it? I don't know, but it's good to have options and just know what's available to you here in the Fairlight tab with all these effects. And that's part of the reason I'm going through all of them just so you have an idea of what's there. So maybe you run into a problem or maybe a you know creative project and you're like, hey, I remember seeing uh, this video on Echo. Maybe I'll throw some Echo in there. Could be kind of cool, right? So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And next time we're gonna be talking about delay and delay is basically the same as Echo. It's just Echo kind of emulates a real world Echo a little bit more than delay. But we'll get into that next week and talk about delay and uh, maybe even do a little comparison between the echo and delay here. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Definitely hit that bell so you get notified each time I put out a new video. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, 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 peace. I'm out of hot chocolate. Had some hot chocolate today. I'm actually filming. It's, what is it? It's 10 o'clock at night. I never film at night, so a little different for me here. But, um... Thankfully, I'm not too tired, but couldn't do the coffee because uh, I'll never go to sleep, right? 10 o'clock. Woo! Late. All right. Shut her down. Shut her down.